My name is Kevin Shavinsky. I'm an assistant professor at the ETH Zurich, and I work on the origin and formation of supermassive black holes, how they affect the galaxies they live in. So the common stereotype about black holes is that they're destructive objects, that they suck everything in and nothing is left, and nothing could be further from the truth. Supermassive black holes, billion solar mass black holes at the centers of galaxies, are actually in many ways creative objects. So first of all, they're not just black. In fact, as material falls into those black holes, that material loses a lot of energy, which gets radiated away as light, as relativistic jets, which we can see in, in, in radio emission. And so one of those massive black holes, when it grows about as fast as it can, is, is, is the brightest object in the universe. It can outshine, that single black hole can outshine the 100 billion stars together in that galaxy. So in many ways, it is the brightest thing in the universe. So when you look in the night sky and you see the Milky Way galaxy, what you see really is the stars, and that's really just sort of the sprinkling on top of a complex ecosystem. What you don't see is a gigantic halo of dark matter, which you just can't see. And what happens in this halo of dark matter is that gas from the universe flows in and cools down. And only when it reaches the very center and cools down all the way, it can condense out into stars, which is that small percentage of normal matter that's made it all the way into something that emits light and you can see. Now, if you just let this gas cool, it would keep cooling, it would form more and more stars, and the galaxy would keep growing. Now, what black holes provide is a potential regulatory mechanism for this process. So when the black hole at the center of the galaxy feeds, a lot of the energy comes straight back out. And if some of that energy comes back into the gas, it can heat the gas and therefore regulate the growth of the galaxy. And so even though only a thousandth of the mass compared to stars, which is only a tiny fraction of the total mass of the system, is in this billion solar mass black hole at the center, in many ways it, it's the thermostat of the whole system. So we don't actually really know how black holes come into being. We know we can make small black holes in the fiery death of uh, massive stars, but where the supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies come from, we really don't know. And this is actually at the heart of my research. So in the next few years, uh, I want to try and find out because supermassive black holes are the last class of celestial objects whose origin is, is, is unknown.